a long time since I've seen you so serious. The last time was something to do with a pile of stones on a gunnery range. It's not stones this time. So what is it? There's going to be some sort of meeting between some of my students and the Fed Aim. I'm grateful to you for bringing this to my attention. If you didn't know about it already. The information would have filtered through to me in due course. I want it stopped. That's rather beautiful. And the way to do it is to put David Armstrong on the next plane home. And what has Major Samuels to say about this? And Samuels is happy to see him stay. He's using it. Samuels has a job to do, which is to put terrorists behind bars, when he can catch them. This meeting is politically pointless, illegal, and highly dangerous. Suppose you let me be the judge of that. You know, Lang, even for a man who devotes himself to the past, I still think you should look to the future from time to time. I live in the present, Joseph. You also live in a country at war. A war that must be ended, one way or another. Rashid Rifat, 25 years old and one of the best bets for the future leadership of the Palestine organizations. Not only is he tough, but he's bright. In the fight for the leadership, he's lost four lieutenants, but he hasn't been touched. I like that. And you want me to pass up a meeting with such a man? If he's an enemy, we need information about him. If he looks like being a friend, we need to know him. You know, I'm beginning to believe you engineered this meeting. You still are a general, aren't you, Joseph? You put one group in here, another group in there, and if one lot gets wiped out, another takes its place. We need the contact. I'm going to stop it. Don't. <laughs>